Hello, right, welcome back. I've done, I've been doing some stripping down work, as you can see, I've stripped the, the uh, it seems to be slightly different, where right, we've got a different bell housing and different clutch on the other one. Um, this just reminds me of an old aftermarket thing, so I don't, let's just start to do things one by one. I took the motor off, God, it's old, it's very old. This is an old 540, but what got me? It came with this, this was on the end of it, so... Was that to push it closer in? Hmm. We only will find out when we put a different motor in, because... If that was to go in there as it is... Yeah. You look very carefully. It stops that from touching that. Good idea. Another great invention by Traxxas. Um, yeah, old motor. Most probably never be used. So, I most probably just leave that away with it. I don't know. I've just lost the, the little grommet that goes in the side, but this is. Get in there. I don't even know what teeth that is. Mark it one, I'll mark it now and have a little fine which is which. These look really small, these teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So that's an eighteen tooth. Oh, that's small, man. that's really small. So that can go in my Traxxas box. Now let's just see if we've got a Traxxas one in here. We should have. Um, see, they're bigger pitch than them. That's what's making me laugh. Hmm. So they sit in there. That's more of a what pitch would you say they are? That pitch is much smaller. Mm, it is, it's very different, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So are we going to be able to put another motor on it? That's the question. Um, also, these arms don't look right. They look like they've come off a rustler or something, but... Who's that? Back in a minute. Right, I'm back. I had a phone call. Anyway, um, yeah, this seems to be... I don't know if it's a third... I don't think it's a, It says 84 tooth on it. So, personally, I just think it's a normal Traxxas spur because it just seems to be really small. Yeah, it seems to be really small. I don't think I can just take off that and put any old Tom, Dick and Harry on it. But I'm sure I've got one of these. I'd have to strip it down, so I've got no... See the. Um, I'm getting flummoxed now because it's not making any sense. This is a Traxxas 18 tooth. And that is dead, dead clunky. This one, nice and quiet. It's a 48 pitch. Yeah. It's a 48 pitch, at least that's a 48 pitch, but that one fits on there, it's too big. Um, weird, isn't it? Very small. Um, we've got to find the grommet, so I've lost the bloody grommet on it as well. It'll be somewhere around here, I'm not really bothered. Um, Do 
you can see it's I don't know. Anyway, there you go, everybody. You can tell it. See, it's weird, isn't it? It's all aluminium, so the aluminium on the front's got carbon on the f on the front and the back. Shocks need reconditioning. Yeah, it's going to be a very interesting program to do this. There you go, peeps. Just to look at it. Not much movement on the um, on the motor, but this is bizarre. This thing, the way you need this to put the motor on. Weird. Very weird. Um, I'll keep you up to date, see what you think anyway. Cheers, peeps. Ta-da. As I said in my last video, if anybody could help me with this Hawks 2 Traxxas, could you send me links or where to find out more about this car because i um, never heard of it before. I got it because I thought it was a, a stampede wannabe, but unfortunately it's not. It's a totally different car, isn't it? Um, yeah, so if you can help me, please be great. Cheers.